Good evening and welcome to another edition of Friday Night Lights. I'm Jay Pushkar alongside Mike Fenner. And Mike, another perfect day for baseball and softball around the area. This week, you just can't beat it. You had both Mercier's programs at home with conference games, Gannon and Edinburgh softball both home. Of course, you had the Erie Seawolves continuing their homestand against Altoona mm -hmm. as well. Brand Herter starting on the mound. As we start with the Seawolves against the curve, no score in the third when Diego Rincones will get it going here. Singles on a pop-up toward Josh Palacios. Curve can't get there in time to make the catch. Grant Witherspoon will score. Come across 1-0 Seawolves. He's safe at the plate. Still 1-0 in the third. Mario Feliciano able to double on a fly ball, but Diego Rincones will be thrown out at home as Drew Maggi finds Henry Davis to make the tag in time for the curve. Same score in the fifth. Julio Rodriguez. Homers going to left center field. His solo shot doubles the lead. 2-0. Good guys. Seawolves in front there in the six. Maggi hits a two-run single to score Domingo Leva. And Andres Alvarez curve even things up 2-2 two -two to the eighth. Palacios reaches on the air. Alvarez and Maggi going to score. Curve take the 4-2 lead on this play. And it scoots past. And in the ninth, Witherspoon would ground into a double play to end it as the Seawolves leave couple on base there stranded. 4-2 the final. Seawolves drop three of the first four in this series. Uh, could have very easily gone gone our way, you know. Um, we uh, we actually hit some some, some balls hard uh, that uh, you know could have could have uh, fallen in but you know it uh, just didn't go our way tonight. I think we had opportunities to score you know and didn't take advantage of them uh, but uh, you know they did a good job on the mound. They, did, they played defense. You know, we didn't. Um, had, a, had a rough inning there in the eighth and, uh, you know, cost us. On the Plowler Entry System scoreboard, the Seawolves fall 4-2 to two to Altoona at UPMC Park. Diego Rincones went 2-3. for three. The RBI Julio Rodriguez homered as well. Seawolves and Curve hit the diamond again Saturday at 1.35 p.m. in Game 5 of the six-game series. Jackie Robinson Day with a rally towel giveaway as well on Saturday. College baseball, Mercyhurst taking on Pitt Johnstown in game two of their doubleheader. The Lakers taking game one, 14 to nothing. No score until the top of the fourth. Eric Rhodes gets a base knock down the first baseline. That scores a run, one nothing Mountain Cats. Bottom of the fourth, the Lakers strike for two. Zach Kouras with a double to right field. That plates Luke Jackson. Nearly lost his helmet going down the third baseline, but maintains it and scores the run. Then it's Lucas Fulmer with an RBI single to right. Kouris slides in safely. Lakers in front, 2-1, to one, but in the top of the fifth. Dylan Broderick smokes a three-run home run to left field. Clears the deck. UPJ back in front, leading 4-2. to two, And they would go on to win and earn the doubleheader split. They taking game two by the final of 5-2. to two. Meanwhile, Gannon was on the road at Slippery Rock, and the Golden Knights outscored the Rock by the final of 9-7. to seven. In the nightcap, though, it was Slippery Rock beating Gannon Five to one. College softball action between Mercyhurst and California PA. No score in the top of the fourth when the Vulcans break through. Madison Lester singles to center field as it falls. Carlina Fiorilli scores, giving the Vulcans a one-nothing lead. Bottom of the fourth. Lakers threatening with runners at first and second, but Eliza Reynolds lines the one to third, and Cal turns the double play, ending the threat and ending the inning. Bottom of the six, still one nothing Vulcans. Pitcher Callie Rister getting the punch out. Next batter, Cheyenne Heinemann. Drives one to left center field. That's good for a base hit. And here comes Casey Irwin. Mercyhurst tying the game up at one apiece. However, California would go on to win game one in nine innings, five to one. They then swept the Lakers with a 4-3 victory in 11 innings in game number two. At Gannon University's McConnell Family Stadium, Golden Knights hosting IUP. No score until the bottom of the six here in game one of the doubleheader. Katie Sideri, nobody on, but she's going to connect and drive one deep to center field and gone. Solo home run. That'll get them going. Gannon takes the lead at one to nothing. That was all the run support Maggie Linda needed. She tossed a complete game. Shutout striking out six. Gannon takes game one of the doubleheader by a count of one nothing. They would sweep IUP winning game two. 12-3 as well. Elsewhere, it was Edinburgh getting a doubleheader split with Pitt Johnstown. The Fighting Scots taking game one, 2-0, 5-2. 
falling in the nightcap 6-5. to five. Men's volleyball from Penn State Barons Junker Center. The Lions hosting the AMCC semifinals and championship match this weekend. They entertained St. Vincent College in the first semifinal match, opening set, and it's Owen Winsikowski on the finesse kill. Later on, after Cameron Schleicher puts a shot on, the Lions will get the point eventually, thanks to Dylan Bazalka coming up with the block at the net. Bobcats have a response on the other side of the net as their outside hitter comes through with a nasty kill. Sean McSwiggin with a put away. A few points later though, the Lions get defensive and eventually it pays off after neither team could put this one away. Eventually it's Alex Jackson recording a winner at the net. Barron would go on to win the opening set. Eventually they go on to win the match in straight sets. Scores were 25-19, 25-23 and 25-19. The Lions advance to Saturday's championship match where they will face Geneva beginning at 3 p.m.